I knew I wanted to be a lawyer one day because growing up, I always had an interest in politics. And in fact, I always said that I wanted to be the president of the United States one day. Because of that, I pursued a lot of legal related internships in high school and in college. And as I went through those experiences, my interest in the law continued to grow and grow until I finally decided two years after undergrad to go to law school. I always knew since a young age that I wanted to be a lawyer, from watching cop shows and Law and & Order to watch my dad come back and forth to work and, and knowing that the law impacts people differently. And I always saw myself as one in the courtroom trying to mimic one of the, one of the characters in, in one of the TV shows. When I came out when I was 14, I never felt that I was othered or that I was weird it's because I had this this sense of community around me, this team of people that I called my friends that always supported me. But when I moved to New York in 2010, I moved here completely by myself and I didn't have that social connection. So I decided to start a nonprofit called The Out Foundation. And it started as a small nonprofit here in New York City, but it quickly expanded across the United States. And that's what kind of got me into wanting to go to law school. It was that next level, what could I do bigger that could allow me to help more people. I was fortunate enough to be recruited by West Point and you know, I fell in love with the community and the brotherhood that they had there and I knew it was gonna be a great opportunity for me. While at West Point, I was a law and legal studies major and my professors were judge advocate generals, army lawyers, and they were practicing attorneys. They showed me what it looks like to give back to soldiers and for my civilian professors, you know, how to give back to their community. That was a lasting impact and I knew you know, right away that not only is law my passion, but I know it's something that I'm gonna practice in the future. I knew early on that I wanted to be a leader and be a mentor to other students because I know what it feels like to have someone who has your back, someone who's in your corner, and someone that you can go to for advice no matter what. And I really wanted to be that for other students who are coming up in the Fordham Law community. Being a student of color in law school can be very isolating and I knew that when I had the opportunity to do so, I wanted to become a leader in Balsa so that I could help foster that community of students that could support each other. After committing to come to Fordham Law, I received the email about the Real Scholars Program. This program is geared towards people that come from underrepresented groups that are first-gen law students. We started a week for orientation and we got a real good grasp on what law school would look like and how to be successful in the classroom and, and how to network in the legal profession. I was very excited when I learned about the opportunity to apply for a clerkship in Judge Chin's chambers because Judge Chin has such a strong presence in the Fordham alumni community and we share similarities in terms of our backgrounds. I knew it would be an honor to clerk for him and be mentored by him and also learn from his impeccable writing skills. Being a leader and a mentor at Fordham Law School helps ground me in the reason I came to law school to begin with, and that is to provide a community and to provide guidance and a welcoming place for others to be around an environment where people will cooperate to achieve a goal is something that's familiar to me. Fordham Law School does a great job at giving its students a bunch of resources to help them make an informed decision as to how they want to use their, their law degree. Judge Chen is an incredible mentor and seeing him juggle his commitments to his passions and his profession has really inspired me and shown me that I can do the same. As a second career law student, I have experience in the nonprofit world, but also in the public sector. When deciding to come to Fordham Law School, it was important for me to find a school that could train me in both areas. No matter which way I decide to go in my legal career, I know that I will be prepared with the best knowledge and the best experience that I can get. I think access to justice is really important. I've seen what happens when people can't afford effective counsel. There are some people who can afford to hire the top law firms to represent them, but that's not a reality for most people in this country. I want to be able to positively impact my community and to make this a more equitable society.